Hey everybody, this is Fide Master Elliot Liu here once again with Chess.com. Today I'm going to do something a little different for this video lecture. First of all, thank you to all of those who have sent in requests for me to do various video lectures, sending me your games, etc. Um, today I'm going to do something for the beginner and intermediate players. This is actually uh, a particular lecture that I've been wanting to do for some time. Bottom line, it's just about winning the game. Yes, that means checkmate. Oftentimes you see beginner or even early intermediate players struggling to finish off the opponent in completely trivi trivially won positions at the very end of the game. So today, I am going to touch upon three specific checkmating patterns and they're going to increase in difficulty. The first one I'm going to do is king and rook versus king. The second one is king and two bishops versus king. And the third and final one for at least this part of the lecture, lecture is king, bishop, and knight versus king often known as the most difficult of the basic checkmates to know when you're first beginning. Okay, so once again, this lecture is mainly for beginner players, but it's extremely instructive if you fit into that category. I'm just going to be going over basic checkmating patterns so that if you ever get in these situations yourself, you literally will not have to even think really about what to actually do. It's just a very, very um, set and proven formula. Obviously, there are several ways to accomplish the goal, but I'm just going to present the one that I know to all of you, and hopefully you'll be able to follow it in the future. Okay, so number one, king and rook versus king. So I'm just going to place the pieces on random squares. Okay, so let's say you have this position in front of you, and you are white. So king on c3, rook on d1, and opposing king on f6. So what do you do here? In these types of positions, I think the best way to approach a certain type of problem when you don't exactly know what to do is to try and envision and ask yourself the question, what do you want? So with a king and a rook, in a dream world, how do the pieces need to be arranged so that the black king is checkmated? So why don't you take a little second to think about that to yourselves. How would you arrange the pieces in an ideal world so that the black king would be checkmated? In other words, what do you want to accomplish? We hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.